I've been thinking a lot, even just today, about the the, the non sacramental nature of of Quaker theology on the Spirit. Um, that the Spirit is present at all times and drawing us into communion that goes beyond the sacrament of communion. That that is deep at the heart of embodied time together as as the meeting um, gathers and that we are connected by the one spirit. And I've, I've really been particularly drawn to that during this moment in time where we're in lockdown and COVID-19 and we can't be present with one another, but we, we have this strong tradition that tells us we are always present with one another and present with the spirit. The element of Quaker faith that most resonates with me is the idea that each one of us has a direct connection with God, um, that the presence of the divine, of the light, of the spirit, of the spirit of Christ is inside of us and can guide us and lead us if we pay attention to it. And, and more than that, the Quaker community is designed to help each other listen for that, listen for it individually and together. There are a couple of things that I have learned over time in the Quaker tradition. One is that this original concept that God speaks directly to all people is alive every day, and it can guide our actions every day. And the other piece that I've learned that is just as important is that it isn't enough to have one person who can hear directly from God. We need the community as a whole to sit and to listen together and to discern together because we're all imperfect. And so that tie to the community I've discovered is equally important in the practice of the faith. And it's something that I feel is incredibly precious. I think my favorite aspect of Quaker practice is having a moment. And that means to briefly hold silence and hold worship um, and wherever you might be and whoever you might be with. Um, my partner, my husband and I, before we eat dinner together, we have a moment. Whenever I have friends that come over, um, I encourage us all to have that brief moment of silence before we start eating the meal. Um, it's, it both gives me more space to have that moment and it also kind of fills me up all at the same time. My favorite aspect of Quaker faith is silence, although I would admit it's the hardest aspect of both my faith and even just everyday life. Um, uh, silence, I think, is one of the hardest things any of us uh, have to do, but I think that's why it's so important. Um, I think silence is important in Quakerism because it's the antidote uh, to a lot of the troubles in this world. Specifically, I think many people today are looking for more sacredness. I think silence strips away any pretension. Because I think when, even when we pray, in the back of our minds, we are, oh, I think we have the habit of justifying our actions. Of, of, of diminishing our responsibility while uh, condemning others. Silence uh, strips that away. And it's just us and allowing God to say, what is your role in what's going on? So there's a, an issue of French Journal where it's focused on the idea of thin spaces. And that's something that really speaks to me. I, I didn't realize how much until um, I, you know, was reading the articles and um, there's a, a particular article about a donut and it's very short, but it's a roller coaster of a ride that, um, you know, when I read it, I, I, it brought me back. It brought me back to, you know, what is important for me to remember about my Quaker faith. And these thin spaces are the spaces that make the most sense to me that are there in everyday life. And to be able to center down or 
fall into uh, worship at a moment's donus when these tiny things pop up is is something that I hold dear and at this time in my life um, is really, uh, really important and really life affirming. Thanks for watching this Quaker Speak video. We release a new video every Thursday. You can watch all our videos in this playlist here. You can subscribe to our channel by clicking this button here. You can support us through our Patreon here. Thanks again for watching and have a happy Thursday.